Hey guys, so we sat here. Um, it's Joey's last collab with me, one with me in my flat. So at first we thought doing a reading behind the scenes, and then I was like, but I'm in a really like funny mood. So we're going to do a. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a ridiculous reading, but it's gonna be a. Um, there's gonna be human humor in it. So we might be sarcastic in this video. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's just gonna be a fun reading. I hope you're gonna laugh with us. Um, we don't know scenarios. Don't know what's gonna happen. Mm -mm. The topic is what's happening right now. Literally, what's happening with your life right now. So please filter through the uh, sarcasm and humor. Um, the intention is to have fun it's a, and it's also a, for to get entertainment things. purposes. We want, we want to make you laugh while also maybe cry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all that tea is so nice. Mm -hmm. um, mm. We do not have options because we usually um, ask people to pick from their gut, use your intuition. We have three pals here today. How we're doing this is um, basically Joe and I will be reading pile number one, both of us. So either one story will relate to you or another, what he reads or what I read, or sometimes they do tie in together. So we will see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Choose yours, one, two, and three, and we're going to catch you in timestamps. Hey, pile number one people. So, do you want me to start or should you start? Yeah, no, you can start. Mine is gonna be pretty um, short and sweet here. What's happening right now? I don't know why people watching this reading because, uh, I mean, there is one thing that I can tell you here that might be important for some of you. But overall, you're seeking for, you're literally going after what it is that you want in life. If you're not just yet, that's something that you're being advised to do right now. You have financial health as well as empowerment. Um, <laughs> these people, pile number one, at least from my side, um, the, the first thing that I saw, we have the magician here too, is I heard um, sugar mama, sugar daddy type of people. <laughs> so um, one day you could be one of those people. Look because what I have. Sugar mama, sugar daddy. <laughs> really? Here we go. I'm not gonna look what, what else they have there. But basically what you need to know right now is that you literally manifest in the F out of your uh, material world. You know, you have empowerment here too, through finances, through um, your stability. Um, and a lot of you are focused on that and this is good. But the, the issue here is for me mo moving forward, um, I think sometimes you tend to neglect the heart space or the relationships or you tend to be closed off because you kind of go, go, go type. Um, you have the... Magician, the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords clarifying the Five of Pentacles here, which says to me that sometimes when projects or financial income stops, instead of pushing it even more, you got to refocus the Sun, Ten of Cups and King of Cups. Refocus on your heart space, on relationships, romantic, platonic, family, does not matter because sometimes you don't see the... Uh, um, you don't see what universe, God, whatever you believe in, um, wants to tell you. Like, I want to earn more. I know I can do more and I know you can do more. But at the same time, it's saying we always have to stay in that balance. So once you achieve something uh, financially, it's saying how much, looking at your life right now, how much is work and money on your mind and how much is um, coming closer together or healing maybe certain relationships or bonding time with people on your mind. And I know some people who are um, struggling with money right now will say like, what the fuck are you talking about, Brigitte? I gotta focus on my finances. Maybe the reason why there is some kind of like a blockage for you cause relationship needs your attention. Now, um, I've been through this myself many times, so I know uh, th this is like cracking the code, okay? Because those two energies, like it's a yin and yang, go hand in hand. For example, if um, I feel like there is a stop to my project and I keep pushing it and I want to finish it and I got to do this, you know, I'm really pumped about it and it's, it's like, it's dragging, it's dragging and it's annoying and it's, and then I go, okay, what does it mean for me? I gotta get out there. I gotta do something that I like. I gotta do something that I love. Connect to people that I love. Maybe bond and form new relationships in my life. And swim in those waters of love. <laughs> that sounds a little bit uh, pervish. Um, 
swim in those waters of love, how you want to call it. Um, and that's when everything, everything starts flowing very naturally when it comes to financial uh, department. You need to know that you're going to be prosperous. You're going to live. A lot of you, I don't want to sugarcoat this, and I'm not. I, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing it right here. You're going to live a really luxurious life one day if you're not living one now. But the stone in the shoe could be that sometimes you focus on it too much or focus on the lack too much where it makes you feel cold, right? And that's when God Universe says, hey, how about going out um, and visiting friends or going to a gig? Even And it can be difficult for a lot of people when you think um, back of your mind, you know, you're thinking about your wallet and you're like, how like I, I need to book a ticket to go to a gig. Um, it's how you are able to release and how you're able to surrender and surrendering is something that a lot of people are learning for our time it's like a um, it's like you're building a surrendering muscle here that's what i'm seeing and if you ever wanted to uh, be a sugar mama sugar daddy you got this <laughs> you got this you can enjoy a lot of different people's companies if you want to literally i don't know why i pull the cards and i'm like ah sugar mama hello <laughs> so that's what I got for you. I will leave Joey to do his bit. And either this is going to be added to the story or it can be a different story. See who you relate to most. So, um, for you guys, I have the Queen of Swords reversed here. And I also have the Strength card. So that's kind of what I'm going to talk about quickly first. Uh, what I'm hearing is that you are having to sort of lay to people about certain things that maybe certain people don't really understand. Um, you know, the Queen of Swords reverse isn't really a good card to get, but clarified by the strength, it's like, you know your own worth, you know that you are above it all, you've worked through it, and you can sort of see where, yeah, you can see where other people are at in their life, and it's, you're literally like, it's not my problem, bitch. Like, I, I have to sort of lay to you or, um, direct you in a new way because I don't want you knowing too much about my personal life and it's like you're not in an oversharing mood with certain people that are in your uh, family it could actually be as well something as well that I'm picking up it could actually be that your mother and father or um, are sort of always wondering what you're doing or they're always interested and they want the best for you but they don't actually see um, the way the world is going and the way that you understand it you you understand um again with swords being connected to technology you can see you can see where the world is going um i do also feel that this group has went through a lot of financial struggles before and now you're sort of a little bit more conscious about what you're buying what you're purchasing um with the four of pentacles here and the six of cups you might have come from a place of lack, like you mm -hmm. talked about, and you realized that that lack was something to do with not receiving the love. Did you say that? No? Uh, I said that they need to focus on hard space. Ah, uh, well that's what they it might is. be in lack in financial department or stability. You know, it doesn't have to be that you don't have money in your wallet. You're just feeling unstable, emotionally, mm -hmm. mentally, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. what it is. Um, again, this is also though, keeping things to yourself making sure that you know you're not helping over helping people you're not really trying to do too much for people it's like really about you um waiting for you're, you're sort of enjoying where you are at right now okay and you don't feel like you need to work on anything you don't really think that uh and what i mean by that is working on stressing about this feeling that maybe you're seeing around you because again to me it seems like everyone around you is going through a lot of stuff and you're sort of in the middle and again like i said it's not part of your circle it's not part of your cycle okay well it is part of your circle but you're your own person and you can hold your own and wait for this to turn until it's actually your time to shine because you have the queen of wands here as well and the thing about it is a lot of people are attracted to your energy because of this passion they're like you're like, I don't really care, whatever, let's just enjoy life. Like, what's the big deal? What's everybody like? Yeah, and there she's holding. <laughs> and it's like, you're the type of person that I see 
at a karaoke and you get the mic and you you have the balls to the wall. You don't you don't care. You're balls just balls to the wall. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. I love that. <laughs> you're just like again. You just are ready to kind of enjoy life again. Um, and yeah, that's sort of what I'm picking up for you. So really, what's happening with you is that how she started it was literally the vibe I got like I don't even know really like I think you're kind of good and that's honestly what I'm picking yeah. up here um so keep doing you don't feel like you have to tell people anything because I don't think you really do uh, I think you can keep it to yourself until the time's right and then share with people yeah it's, the, it's that type of um it's a bit of a different story what I want to kind of not a different story but it's um you know that saying do not talk about what you're about to do until you're done that's what kind of a vibe because in your pile in your i mean in your reading what i'm seeing that is maybe opinions of people and for you you know exactly how you need to do things and you know how your energies work you know how your life structure works and i think it's it's spiritually as well as you know three-dimensionally and some people just um do not maybe have a grasp of it and I would say for panel number one, um, do things, um, I don't want to say undercovers, but do everything that... Because <laughs> there you should go now, I should go there. Under the right? covers? <laughs> Shh, quiet. <laughs> until, until that project idea is, um, is done and then you go out in the world and you're like, hey, bitches, look what I've done. You know, and it's not to say that we're coming after the people who are surrounding you, not at all. It's um, something that you might need to pick up for yourself and just go with it because I see a lot of accomplishments in the future too. Love okay. it. And the covers. Okay, final number one. Peace. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello, panel number two people. So I'm gonna start, so I don't know if you listen to intro or not. There might be humor in this um, reading overall. Uh, not this part specifically, but we kind of funny today. And um, I'm going to read for panel number two as well as Joey. Um, we pull cards separately. Sometimes it ties in, sometimes it's different stories. Pick whatever you resonate with right now. And let's go. So, number two is what's happening with you right now. And I think you have noticed that before because it's, uh, it's like an, a continuation here, I'm seeing. But you're nearly at the end of it. Um, you're being, you probably noticed, you're being taught... Um, how not to take on too much um, from your surroundings and sometimes you find yourself in situations where you're like oh my god I'm so tired oh my god there is so much that I need to do maybe for myself as well as for other people or you know bullshit that you give to yourself in your own head sometimes those thoughts you know uh, running through your head and it's not easy um, to be you that's what I'm hearing but that's something that is I think needs to be acknowledged um, once you acknowledge something, you then realize that that's that's who I am right now in this very moment. You can always change it around. Um, this is actually leading you to a massive shift in your life. And you either have noticed already that there was conflict or there was a really difficult period of time where you couldn't get to sleep, where you are worried about someone maybe, uh, worried about multiple people in your life as well as what you got to do for yourself and your responsibilities. And that's something that you had to go through. I'm feeling panel number twos. You had to find it. Look, we have life in your load first. With that, you also have the nine of swords. So what is it that you're carrying on your shoulders here that is uh, making you feel frustrated, um, tired, angry? Um, I don't think this is something that belongs in your life anymore, but this is just a behavior of some sorts, right? And that behavior can come through, you know, yourself where you keep doing things that you know maybe you should do for yourself or spending that hour maybe uh, with yourself or relaxing, but instead you choose to um, go and listen to someone's, you know, problems all the time. And you do it constantly and you catch yourself there. Um, now, once you found it, what's the problem? Literally finding. Um, you can't see because of the ring light. You have to do that, yeah. Got it. See the finding with the page of pentacles too. Pardon my nails. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. A bit scruffy. A little bit. Seen some stuff, you know, washing and dishes and all that. 
Um, and again, there was a reason why we started talking about this, right? Why your nails are fucked up like this. I mean, I uh, have some. <laughs> and, uh, um, there's a lot that you probably are doing that's going to lead you to literally um, transformation here. Yeah. Um, you know, you hear that word a lot of times, blah, blah, transformation, you know, I have to transform. Um, here, this, it seems like this is going to be your breaking point, literally. Maybe you have been nearly to a breaking point already, a burnout of some sorts, that you felt like, or maybe you're caring for someone, uh, someone older or someone young um, who depends on you somehow, or you tend to do that subconsciously for people, even if they don't ask you to. And that's when there's conflict in your own head because you're like, through that frustration, um, you don't understand. You tr you, you're like, I'm helping people, I'm doing so much. Or I'm holding, you know, this, um, we have this thing in, in back home, but I don't think it translates to English. Um, it's like someone holds um, all four, wa four walls on their shoulders. So they are the responsible ones for everyone in the house, um, metaphorically, right? that type of situation and because you are tired of because you are frustrated um, that's when that anger maybe or frustration uh, rubs off on other people and you might be uh, angry on someone in particular you might be frustrated uh, with someone in particular but overall what's happening here is that's the build-up okay that's the build-up so the moment you start balancing this out with the six of pence here how much I'm giving to myself how much I'm giving to other people uh, what's in your pocket? What's gonna be left in your pocket after you gave away these pentacles? That's something that you're being asked to pay attention to more. I do wanna pull a couple of more cards with this because someone is literally lightening their load and finding themselves in a much um, in a much better space where they're not feeling as stiff, as tense, as stressed anymore. But they're finding themselves there because they decided not to do things that they used to do anymore, right? So there's that saying, you know, doing the same thing all over again, expecting a different outcome is insanity. Yeah, Six of Swords is here. You're moving towards Kama Waters, that's for sure. So if you're going through this now, it's saying recognize your behavior. Maybe that's someone else that you're dealing with. Maybe I'm calling you out for no reason here. Maybe this is someone else's um, behavior that you keep tolerating, okay? So, but overall, pay attention to number six. You're coming up on top once you recognize and once you start changing this around, okay? Six of pens and, sorry, six of pens, yeah, triple six. Here you go, you're welcome. Um, six of pens, six of swords, six of wands. You're coming out on top here. Um, but I do think that for a lot of you, before this happens with the ace of pentacles, where you're giving new opportunities, possibilities, um, you gotta I split the deck, 10 of wands, twice, because you have the light and the load here. You gotta take these, um, I don't know what it is for you. I'll call them responsibilities. Um, and I'm not saying ditch your responsibilities, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. You take it on too much, okay? Maybe perfectionism, I don't know. See what it is for you and start changing it around and that's when you transform. Baba boom, I'm done. Okay, no, cool. That so was good. What I want to start off with saying is, I don't know why I'm being drawn to the number 21. I was hearing it for most people. It could be that maybe you are 21 years old or that 2021 was a big year for you. Um, but also another thing is looking back at, um, the reason I'm saying that is because of the key. In Ireland, we have a thing called like, you know, when you're 21, they give you a key. It's like a stupid thing that they do. What? Well, tell me. So like when you're 21, they, um, <clears throat> they'll give you like a key because it's like, it's the age that you move out. Oh, that's so sweet. So it's like a symbol thing, but I'm seeing the keys here and this justice card. Um, I think in the past you were the sort of person maybe, or even you're currently going through it now. It's mainly now, but it's something to pay attention to wherever you are in your life because you were the type of person and maybe you still have this. I feel like some of you do have it right now where you don't want to listen to how things should be done or what you should do next or people's advice because the energy that I'm getting is, which is good, but now you need to, you know, you've been on both sides of the spectrum, okay? Because I have trans dance here 
And the way that I'm seeing it is someone who maybe when they were 21, they went to like raves and music festivals and they were just like, sort of, because you disassociate when you're in those states. Um, and if you're not, if you get it kind of addicted to being out of body, you sort of, if you find it hard to get back in. However, I think that things have changed here because of the cards below, but I'll talk about them in a second. So your mindset is changed, okay? Um, you're not thinking, you're not going um, the way that you used to. Um, you're not really finding that you need to, I'm just gonna put them up right with the reverse. This is the, you know, oh my God, look at you. Everyone's like praising you and- Six of Wands, is that? Yeah, Six of Wands. Okay, and it's like, it was here too, so. Wow, look at you. And I think that before you used to like maybe wear like a lot of like really colorful clothes and you used to make a lot of effort to impress people and now it's went that way. So it's like what's happened here is you sort of went through a shift and you realize that no, I just want to be happy and I want, you know, those connections that are about like actually dancing with someone rather than like it's not just about dance it's about in general just you know at concerts we kind of go out of body like i said and we're not really paying attention to the people around us we kind of just in the collective and we're kind of like vibing or whatever with this it's like giving me the feeling of you know wanting to actually flow with one person one on one um because you're interested in having like you know a relationship or working on your relationship that you're currently maybe in and it's more so about uh realizing that i i can still have fun um and have the love part of it as well i can i can balance them but now you need to realize that that is the thing that you need to focus on because it's only normal for people want to make people proud of them but i love that i love what you said here mm -hmm. But it's, yeah, because like people think like, it's really good for people to say, I don't really care about what people think of me. But there's people who are saying that, that are actually, you know, saying it because there's a wound there. I can say, I don't care. Everyone cares, unless you're a sociopath. Exactly. So I can say that I used to do that a lot where I'm like, I don't care what people think about me. Well, sociopaths do care. Psychopaths don't care. I'm confused. Some, someone tell me. I don't, I don't know. They, they do care on a really deep, deep level, but it's kind of hard to explain that. Because, no empathy there, yeah. Yeah, because that's what it is. But that's, again, hurt people hurt people. Mm. And, um, yeah, and I, as we're speaking about that, I think, I always pick this card up. She's poking at the tree. There's a bit of blood coming out there. And this is like the family tree. This is the card that I see for that. So the family grew up and they're all like, you could be the younger one in the family or, you know, you mightn't have, had it so easy compared to other people in your family and you're looked at as the person who you know couldn't get their shit together and you didn't make the best choices in life um or you didn't attract the right partner maybe you have the perfect partner now or you're sort of on the hunt for someone that you know you can share this with okay but the main thing here for me is that love is definitely on the way for you but you also have to pay attention to the fact that you can still go out and you can still be the old version of you with the new mindset okay because you want to take what you've learned and roll with it and heal from it by being a new version of you okay so you do want to flip this around you want to make sure that your thoughts are you know i do care what people think but if it's you know coming from a jealous if they're jealous then that's when you don't care because that's not you that's that's something that they have to deal with it's nothing to do with you but the people that are you know making you feel happy you should care about what they think so it's trying to find the balance with that i think that that's the main thing that you need to really look at okay um also do think that once you change your mindset you're going to notice that you are going to want to travel to places that you used to go to or do things that you've always wanted to do because saying not not that you're saying this all the time but i think you're realizing it um by not being afraid of the outside world will make you want to go out more 
that's the the way that I'm seeing it. It's not that you're afraid, but you're just kind of like, oh, people, and you're kind of trying to focus on your own stuff. Um, but yeah, I I do also want to say here as well that people that say things that trigger you because the justice card is there, they're saying it to you to motivate you to push you to be um, better for yourself. So instead of this energy of like, I don't want to hear it, I'm walking away from this conversation and I'm not interested, listen and sit and like feel uncomfortable because they're making you uncomfortable for that reason of mm -hmm. growth. So that's just the thing that I'm getting. And yeah. This was a serious one. We laughed a little in part number one. Yeah, <laughs> this was a serious. We, we, uh, we literally uh, saw the cards and I was like, oh, you're, shit. The thing about this energy <clears throat> is you're a very fun person, but you need to realize that you can be fun and also be in your 70s yeah yeah man yeah so that's what we have for part number th two thank you two and we'll see you in the next one hello part number three people i think in this one i'll um i'll let you start first mm -hmm. and so if you skip the intro we are both doing readings so see this my time together, this might not, see who you resonate with the most, and let's go. So, um, for group number three, the thing that I'm seeing for you guys is that I have the strength, I'll talk about these first. So I have the strength reversed and I have the nine of cups reversed. So I think that what you are sort of feeling at the minute is something hasn't worked out your wish isn't coming true you're sort of getting to a place where you're frustrated and you're sort of like you know what maybe the universe is trying to tell me that it's not right for me to have this and you're just kind of like well then bye bye piss off don't need you anymore get out of here <laughs> get, get the fuck out of here kind of <laughs> like. and what actually that is doing is the you know the saying of like when you don't need something anymore it comes your way so that's the kind of energy that i'm getting is you're sort of like i don't need that idea or i don't need to do it this way anymore and then you sort of stop and you pause and you get serious about things okay with the queen of swords you're like you sit there and you're like no i'm gonna get firm now i'm like i'm i'm, I'm constantly thinking about that and it's like enough is enough she's putting the sword into the ground and she's claiming that authority because you want to be uh, sort of held accountable for what you're saying you want to do, okay? And you are trying out different things and that's exactly what your guys want you to do. They want you to take, um, take into account that you can try things different ways. It doesn't have to be just that way because it doesn't mean that your wish can't come true it's that the energy that you're putting into it needs a different perspective because you got lost this card this um hanged man is sort of like i have a hanged man too here oh really mm -hmm. the the way that i picked this one up is the duality of the 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 dark and the light okay and then they're sitting here in the middle and with light he's like in a casket he's literally like tied up so it's not that you're you're dead is like tied up um, because you're waiting for uh, that moment to for these um, buckles to be released and it I see this as like getting back into alignment so that's sort of like you know the chakras and everything and focusing on what it is what areas of your life are you not really balanced in okay and the Queen of Swords is coming in here now because she's trying to say like I've been kind of harsh on myself um, and what you're being brought back to this place of like peace within yourself to actually really acknowledge both sides of what you were doing okay you were wanting it this way because this would make you happy and but in actual fact it wasn't going the way that you planned so you were actually you know self-sabotaging the, hap the happiness from actually manifesting so once you correct that and you don't need to do it that way anymore it naturally just open the door opens and anything that you wanted is going to come your way so that's what i'm getting from that um okay 
I... Okay, so... I do also think that... You need to move away from... Trying to be first, okay? Trying to be the first one to get to the edge of something. It's not, co it's not competitive. It's more so about... I want to do it first. I want to do this before anyone else does it this way. And the minute that someone starts, you know, create this mother here, she's creating something on like wool or whatever. She has two children. So I think that you you try to rush, you try to spin the wave too fast again. Because I was talking about your your ha your happiness is there, everything is fine, but you try to rush to um, sort of get a glimpse of everything sort of happening quickly for you and the minute that you know someone has an idea or someone has um, taken what you've done and made it like their own or their, it's better or whatever you kind of get annoyed at yourself and you're like ah, I just want to do it different now because um, people are getting involved or uh, you know conversations as well with family members is something that plays on your mind as well a little bit here with the the ten of pentacles it's like everything's fine with family your family are sort of like very normal like living a normal happy kind of life and um, but you need to stop being like i need to get away from them or i need to you know they're, they're putting me off or they're not letting me do what I want to do or whatever it may be. There's so many scenarios with that, but it's all again, it's you are putting too much into a wish coming true. And there's more to that. She's holding on to, there's a spirit guide there standing behind. Okay, he's guiding the way. She's holding on onto this box. She's like, she's, she's like, the way I see it is like, she's taking this box for someone to unlock. She's trying to find the right key to unlock the box because she's so focused on opening it and she opens the box and she realizes it's empty or what she thought might be in it is not exactly what it seems so basically what I'm getting from this is don't put all your eggs in one basket let yourself um, explore different ways of uh, doing things okay that's the main thing that I'm getting from this because your guides brought you from one side of the spectrum, from the dark, the, 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 the loneliness, to this side, which was like more, it was more positive, but you couldn't really find the middle ground, and that's what you're ha what's happening now. You're finding the middle ground so that you are doing it for yourself and you're not doing it for any other reason um, other than, you know, making sure that it's you that's creating this reality for yourself. That's what I'm getting. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, my scenario is very different, I think, from uh, from Joey's. So, see where you stand with this. But what's happening right now with pile three is I'm seeing you are being taught commitment. So you're gonna have to know where you stand with this. Some people are being taught how to be um, in a healthy commitment or what kind of commitment you actually want. So say, if you're in relationship already, that's what you're being taught. Um, and maybe for some of you, even if you don't have a partner right now, you're being um, taught boundaries when it comes to commitment. So commitment is great, but to what extent is the same, right? So how much are you going to actually um, cling to something? It's, um, I'm picking up three different stories for, for this. You're being asked, and you've been shown how it would be like um, to be in a healthy, caring commitment with someone. Um, some of you might be a little bit closed off. Some of you might be a little bit too codependent. You need to know where you are with this. But it's literally partnership and commitments here. So you have commitment over here. Then you've got the hero fund that is clarifying the boundaries card. So I think for a lot of you, um, there is a realization kind of, you're realizing what kind of partner, partner and grandma I'm hearing, you want to have with yourself. And you want to have confidence uh, with whoever you want to get involved with or you are involved with, 
but maybe there is some kind of challenge here where you're like, mm, do I have a good balance between the two? Um, do I either, um, I see nine of wands uh, very often as a card that says, don't come near me, you know, that kind of thing. Um, especially have one card in your deck where she's like protecting herself in a circle and those mm -hmm. wands are around her. She's like, don't come near me. Mm -hmm. And I think what's happening right now, your ideology or your your idea about commitment is slowly changing where you're understanding so see how it ties into your life you know what kind of challenges you had recently in your relationships um also platonic relationships maybe are you afraid of commitment or do you commit too much to the to the point where you lose identity you know that's something that you're being taught right now but overall, I do see a really nice connection between people. I do think that some people watching this have children or whoever you are with or you're going to be with will have a possibly a, a child, one or two. Did you have children in your... Yeah, well, my son Carrot has a mother working and there's two children on her, okay. on her lap. Further on, you have the uh, um, two of cups. You have the page of wands over here and you have the queen of pentacles. Maybe for a lot of you, um, you are being shown um, or you're understanding and you're diving really deep what kind of mother, father you want to be or what kind of partner you want to be with the Hierophant over here. Um, there is a lot that has changed for our time, who you were with um, or maybe if it's the same person and what you want now. Because I'm seeing you upgrading your ideology, your way of thinking about commitment with the two of cups. You want it to be as something that makes you a better human, a better person. And the same you're going to be doing back to the other person. And that's your healthy um, relationship. So I don't know why we have this confidence card here because maybe some of you don't believe that you can have that the commitment that has really good boundaries, healthy boundaries, right? Where you don't lose identity and you can get married to someone like that with the hero fund. Um, there is a, I think this is an encouragement for a lot of you. There is a person out there exactly uh, wishing for what you want. So don't close yourself off from, or don't set, um, don't set limitations when it comes to partnerships because I think, I think some of you, what you've seen before or even in your family, how your mom and dad, what kind of relationship they had, your view maybe on partnership became a bit distorted and that's something that you hold within yourself now. But in reality, now this is being challenged. This kind of a way of thought or pattern of thoughts is being challenged someone is going to be a great mom and great dad that's something that you need to know and you're going to have a great family dynamic uh, but maybe some people before this happens they have to work on uh, the balance between how committed i am and at the same time i do have my own persona where i do things that i want to do and then i come back home and we talk about things and we you know a really healthy partnership that's something that is coming through here but yeah, man, that's Love why I that. have round number three. I hope that made sense. And we're saying bye. We're saying bye. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.